So hi everyone, it's Charlotte here today and we're going to be doing a kind of chatty little video about the Burgess XL Nuggets. Now I've just been recently warned by my friend Inez, who also has guinea pigs, that the Burgess, she was told by her vet, has lucerne in it, which is the alfalfa. So this is another name for alfalfa and it's easily caught out by anyone and for me I've been feeding it for over a year now for the two big girls and for Daphne probably around five or so months and they don't, they, I mean it doesn't clearly say on it that it's got high calcium and obviously it doesn't clearly say that it's actually alfalfa and they're kind of like trying to sneak you out on that so I'm quite disappointed really because I thought this brand was relatively healthy and was a good brand for guinea pigs here in the UK plus it is a British company and I thought it was best to support what is in our own country than rather buy something from abroad okay so we're looking at the ingredients here and this is in English obviously so this is on the side of the bag and obviously in very small writing so if you didn't know the equivalent name to alfalfa which I didn't because I've been feeding my girls um, well over a year now with Burgess I always started from that so I'm quite upset really to find that it does actually have alfalfa in which is not clearly shown unless you are aware of the other term for it so to start with it has grass meal and I mean it's, start, it's starting with that and then wheat and then lucerne I think I'm pronouncing that right, lucerne or it's lucerne, I don't know, I could be completely pronouncing it wrong, but lucerne is the equivalent to alfalfa. Unfortunately here in the UK, the majority are alfalfa based, which is really really bad for any piggy over the age of 6 months. Piggies under 6 months can have alfalfa as much as they need because they are growing, so the extra calcium is much much needed for them however for elder piggies and just adult piggies in general high calcium can be really detrimental to their health and also create so many problems including the dreaded bladder stones so when i found out about this i immediately wanted to find another brand so i'm sure a lot of you have seen this brand before and i have definitely mentioned it in my diet videos for the guinea pigs so this is Oxbow. Oxbow are a really, really good company. They are completely natural. It's all nutritionally well for them and there's no artificial preservatives or colours or flavours. And there's, it's just the best food you could probably buy for your piggies or your rabbits because they do different animal food as well. So I decided to go with Oxbow even though it does retail at a higher price. However, I did find a cheaper place in the UK that sells it at $15.99 for 4.5 kilos. Now that's in comparison to my Burgess, which I used to get on Amazon and I got a two pack two packs of two kilos for around nine pounds so it is an extra seven pounds and it's nearly double and that seems like a lot but it's going to last long as well you get an extra key a half a kilo sorry in it but also you're knowing that what you're putting into your guinea pigs is going to be good for them and you're doing your best so this is going to last a while so I thought 15.99 every couple of months wasn't bad at all so when I put it in that kind of way one thing I really like about this brand is that they put everything on the back and in big writing so it's not all hidden away and you're not going to be able to not read it and everything so they completely they are completely honest with you about what is in their food and what's good for them and how much to feed and everything so this is perfect for a new piggy owner as well because it tells you that if it's over six months of age then eighth of a cup of pellets daily in addition to unlimited grass hay. Now, if you have different, if you have an under six months or a guinea pig nursing sow or pregnant, then they do have other brands, other brands, other types of food which are specified to them as well. So, on the back, again in big writing, and you can see the kind of comparison between the burgess that is hidden away and this one is completely massive and you can read it really easily and there's a lot that goes into them as well. So the first ingredient is Timothy grass meal. So that is telling you that that has got the highest composition, but also it's Timothy grass, not alfalfa. So that's excellent. And I'm really, really happy with that. And it has got, obviously, your guinea pigs do need calcium. 
I think some people think that that means that they don't need calcium, that I'm trying to say that it needs a lower calcium diet because your guinea pigs do need calcium because if they don't have calcium they can get really ill from that as well so you need to have a kind of like a balance between the two now on the guaranteed analysis we can go down to calcium here and the minimum calcium is 0.35% so that's way better than the Burgess and the calcium maximum is 0.85% so it could be anywhere in between that but this is a good starting point and also that it's not got the alfalfa in is absolutely brilliant so i would highly recommend getting oxbow so that's the end of the video and i just wanted to say that this was just basically warn owners who do feed their guests and kind of make them aware so you have that choice between what you want to do next or if you still want to keep feeding the burgess totally up to you i wouldn't say it's the worst food out there however the high calcium is something to be aware of i just thought i would make everyone aware because i certainly wasn't and that might have been a bit stupid of me but i don't know really what i thought lucerne was to be fair so i should have really looked that up so everyone makes mistakes sadly and that's definitely one of them but i'm happy to say that we're going to be moving on to the oxbow and I also just want to mention that I have been sprinkling it in so I've been mixing it in with their original food and they love it so that's really really good so I'm really happy that otherwise that would have been a 4.5 kilo wasted bag but anyway so thank you so much for watching and I shall speak to my next one bye